How do you ignore the finger when you shoot? I don't know. I try not to worry about it. Uh, I know his tape is protected. Uh, for me, just trying to get a good feel of the basketball uh, with that hand tape and stuff. Uh, that's why you see me out here shooting. Uh, just trying to get the, the feel. So, like, just if I, if I get a feeling it's, it's, it's good, uh, sometimes it, it's not. Uh, so, it's just all about the feeling that I have when I catch the ball. So, I'm trying to get as much rep uh, in with the tape on my hand as possible. Those are tough injuries because yeah. when you think it's healed, it'll come up again. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, it actually was, was getting better until uh, the first game at the All Star break when I actually hit it again. Uh, and it felt worse than it, than it when it first happened. Uh, so right now we're just managing it, keeping the tape, uh, trying to keep it straight as possible, um, and just letting it heal. <laughs> what, what? Other, other than the finger, how do you sort of feel physically at this point in the season and just considering, I mean, Malone has mentioned sort of the context that you guys want to keep in mind and, and uh, give guys rest if they need it. I feel great. You know, all-star break is always good, you know, just to get away from the, uh, the game of basketball, you know, be with my family, uh, try not to think about anything. Uh, a rest and recovery, uh, but I feel great. I always uh, tell my teammates, man, it's, I always have, you no, know, I guess, all-star like legs or something. Like it's just, I'm fresh, like I'm recharged, and you know, I'm ready to go. What can you guys do differently defensively against Sacramento? Uh, be aggressive. Uh, I know the last few games that we we haven't been aggressive. They were the aggressive. Uh, try to take care of the ball. You know, limit our turnovers. We got the rebound. Uh, and we got to uh, pick up our trans transition defense. I think them, uh, them areas where we lacking that uh, to uh, before the All-Star break and like, a little bit on after the All-Star break. Is it any time that you guys are going through against Uh No, uh, we just got we got our last game with them tomorrow. Uh, and we, we looking forward to getting the win. You know, we, we all healthy, we all back. Uh, and we just looking forward to a great game. Is it important though that Stretch runs, playoffs, somebody, I mean, just, just say, they, I mean it, it's always important. You don't want to get swept by a team in the regular season, uh, and especially a team that you might could face in the playoffs. Uh, so uh, for us, uh, tomorrow, you know, we just got to come in and be aggressive uh, and play our basketball, you know. Uh, just get out and transition when we can. We got to rebound the ball, like I said earlier, and we got to be able to stop them in transition. Tough back to back Wednesday, Thursday. Thursdays against the Heat. Do you think that'll bring back memories of, of the finals? And if so, what do you think of that memories will be like? Uh, me getting the win, uh, us getting the win. So uh, hopefully uh, against Miami, we can get the win. Um, and for, like I said, for us, uh, after this All Star break, we three and zero, and we want to continue that. You know, we want to get back to our championship mentality uh, and uh, pursue another one. The ball was in your hands when the clock wound down in that game. What did you do with that basketball after game five? I threw it in the air. Uh, I think one of our coaches was chasing it down, so uh, I guess he wanted it. But yeah, I, I, I just threw it in the air. And I think uh, Bruce was the first person I hugged. Like, he was right there. Uh, but it was just exciting just to have the moments, uh, especially my second one. Uh, man, and then I got a chance to, like I say, I always say, experience my parade, and it was just, it was, I was overwhelmed just to get another one. I know you guys are asked about Joker all the time, just with the numbers that he's putting up lately. Just, is there something that you're noticing, sort of in the huddles or behind the scenes, that he's, is, is he any more dialed? Uh, is there something different? I uh, mean, we, we, we already got a text message from him. Uh, uh, right after the All-Star game, so we already knew what his mindset was and how he was going to come in uh, at the All-Star break. So and for us and one of him being one of our leaders uh, and our true MVP, um, we just had to follow. Like, we knew what his energy and his mindset was, and, and we can see it on the court. He's, he's proven it. Uh, and for us, we just got to continue to pick, uh, pick him up, uh, help him out, and just do our thing. Was the text just like, all right, it's it's time to go. It's it's that time of year. A little personal, a little personal. There's a little personal <laughs> text right there, but I, it got everybody motivated, uh, and we're looking forward to uh, winning another championship. That, that leadership aspect, though, is that it it's been a talking point just as he's kind of grown up with this yeah. team. Just where where have you seen some of the the leaps there? Uh, just him being vocal. Uh, I would say, you no, know, for the two years I've been here. Uh, last year he, he was he was vocal, but this year it's, it's, it's a lot more. Uh, 
and, and we, we all respect, you know, he don't, he's a man of many words. So when he do speak, we all listen. Uh, so, and it's just great for this to have him like, to be a, vo a more vocal leader this year. So just like getting everybody motivated through either through text, individually, on the court, off the court. So uh, we all we all appreciate it. This has been a challenging season at times for Zeke Naji. I, I know that you don't exactly like share the floor with him a ton, but just how guys sort of tried to stay in his ear and keep encouraging him. Obviously, he's had uh -huh. a good stretch of games here. Yeah, I know it's hard when you play <laughs> when you play behind MVP like that. So that I now I've had the same. Had to go through the same thing, but for like playing around uh, veterans uh, that I had to uh, probably steal minutes from. Uh, but like, <laughs> but, uh, but just, but just standing Zeke here, just telling him like, man, just, just, just be ready. You know, you never know when your number is gonna be called, like because uh, at one point him and DJ were sharing minutes, so you know, so now he's uh, he's getting the minutes. So like, just be prepared. You know, whenever they coaches need you uh, to come in, you go in, you, you play. You know, as hard as you can for them minutes, no matter what it is.